Hello, I've just been giving my fridge a bit of a pre-Christmas clear out because it's finally the day where I'm going to go and do some shopping for the perishable Christmas food items. I already had a few things. I've got tomatoes and more peppers than I even knew because there were peppers hiding. There were some peppers hiding in there, some peppers hiding in there, some peppers on the shelves. Mushrooms need eaten. But anyway, I had loads of spuds, so I don't need to buy spuds. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the rest is looking pretty Mother Hubbardsy. So I'm going to head out shopping. And I'm thinking I might do three or four different shops as well and just come home and drop stuff off in between times. Now, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that our plans have changed for Christmas. It's just going to be me and my daughter for the most part of Christmas, apart from in the morning when we'll be opening presents with my boyfriend here. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, you wouldn't know that my dad has now come down with COVID, unfortunately. I was a bit worried about my daughter having caught it because she's been staying there, but she came home last night and after I'd finished doing the vlog, she did an LFT test and it was thankfully negative so she's gone off to college today and she'll be coming back here later. But bless her, she's been buying a few things for the Christmas food corner. Look at that, that gin has been there since last Christmas. <laughs> I haven't done a very good job of drinking the gin. It's because I never have any like fresh fizzy tonic water and I don't want to drink it on its own. So, oh, maybe I could buy some tonic. Oh, I'll put it on my list. Oh, good grief. I've left a tripod at my boyfriend's house, I think, and I'm struggling with one of these bendy gorilla ones and I have a tendency to break break them. You're supposed to be able to bend the legs, but whenever I bend them, they seem to snap and go all floppy. Right. All for the sake of... Right, now it's not horizontal. I usually use a ball swivel mount thingy, but I don't have it right. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit um, behind the scenes -y. Right. Uh, what was I going to put on there? Oh yeah, tonic water. Yeah, so my daughter recently got a job a few months ago and she's gets paid for it now so she's got money and she's bought some snacks for me she bought me these lovely steamed tofu snacks i've had these before she bought me one for christmas last year and it's delicious so she's bought me another three and a load of fortune cookies for us to share i presume izzy doesn't want these maybe that's for both of us they came in this random packaging as well was saying what's this mean a vegetarian diet, the steak. She was gonna photograph the packaging and ask her Chinese friend to just make sure it's veggie. But when she opened the box, she found that they just used the packaging for other things, which I think is very resourceful and I approve. Anyway, she's also bought these mochis. I probably won't eat them because they've got gelatin in, but that was a nice thought anyway. She'll enjoy them. And she's bought these uh, puddings as well. Probably ought to have a look at the ingredients in those. No, they're all right for vegetarians. They've got coconut in though. She ought to be careful with that. So anyway, we don't need any of that sort of thing. I want stuff like cheese and fish to do for Christmas dinner. I want to try and do tuna steaks. If I can get fresh tuna, I'll do that with our Christmas dinner. So it's kind of a bit meaty. It's like the meatiest thing that I'll eat and we can enjoy that together then. And I'll probably do, probably do roast vegetables with it and lots of green veg and some kind of creamy cheesy sauce to go with it. Though Izzy probably won't be interested in the sauce element. She likes everything bone dry honestly she's not a juicy food girl and for the evening you know like normally people have cold leftover meat with crackers and cheese and i don't know grapes do they have grapes with it maybe i could put that on the list that sort of thing well we won't have loads of cold leftover meat but i can buy cold pre-cooked meat like you know turkey slices and things like that so i thought i'd try and get a, an assortment of that for izzy to have and lots of nice cheeses as well and i'll have cheese and crackers and chicken have meat and crackers and bits and bobs should be nice just been adding grapes and cucumber to the list for the supper in the evening the first place i'm gonna go is like a local green grocers i'm gonna leave the camera at home for that bit and i'll show you everything i got when i got in and also i want to buy a present for my boyfriend there as well and i don't want to film it because he'll know what he's getting but he was hinting for it the other day oh i just found my tripod what the heck there it is see that that ball swivel thingy makes all the difference. Thank goodness I'm not condemned to using the Gorilla. This is the Gorilla pod. I'm not a fan. I was going to quickly show you my puzzle progress because my daughter was here last night for ages and so I was chatting to her for ages and ages and ages down here and got quite a lot of puzzle done in the process. Still a big mess at the top though. And just like that, I'm back. That was a very quick trip out and back in again. It must have been 15 minutes door to the door. Anyway, look, I got stuff. Got those grapes to go with our supper on Christmas night. A sprout tree, complete with sprout tops, which are delicious. And that looks a lot nicer than the last sprout tree I got. <clears throat> yeah, that's not doing so well. I actually forgot to put it in water. Normally I do. I'm going to like try and pick that to pieces and try and find some good bits for my dinner later. I'm not giving Izzy that for Christmas Day. It's all monkey. This, however, is a fine specimen. More fine specimens within. 
broccoli. Obviously, this is going to keep us going for many days, and it's not just for Christmas. Green beans, she loves those. We used to grow our own, you see. Uh, especially when she was little and she got used to that sort of runner bean. A cucumber for evening meal. Now, I am not a fan of the parsnip, but I've got one because I'm going to roast it for Izzy. I'm also not a fan of carrots. So I'm going to eat some carrot on Christmas Day <laughs> and do them roasted. And what else? Oh yes, I've got four satsumas, four for £1.50. Oh, look at the size of this Savoy cabbage. Izzy does like a bit of Savoy cabbage, so this will keep us going all week, I should think. So yeah, there's my Christmas veg and a little bit of fruit. Oops. That lot came to £13.44. Right, let's have a take two with the sprout tree then. There you go. Enjoy. Pringles are £2. I'm going to get some for Izzy because she really just likes the original ones. And I've bought all obnoxious flavoured ones that she won't like so far. I want trifle, but look, the date is the 23rd. We want it on the 25th. Sherry trifle would be amazing. Oh, what's that one? What's the date on it? 24th. Oh, and I got your logs. They look nice. That's too big for me and Izzy anyway. We need something that size. 26th. That's just a strawberry one. Izzy will honestly probably prefer strawberry to sherry. So we're going to get this. Yay. We got a Christmas dessert. I'm sure she would absolutely love the Yule logs, but they're too big. So I'm not going to get it. They've got the chocolate house kits in here, the Cadbury's one. They're £8 with a club card. I probably wouldn't get one. I think it would be really, really fun, but with just two of us, it's going to be all exposed to the air and everything. And I don't think it would be very nice by the time we were finishing it off. So not for us, but it looks fun. Oh, this is what I need. Little cans of tonic water because I open one bottle, have one G&T, and then four weeks later I think I'll have a G&T. And then I think, well, I don't fancy that tonic water because it's been open for four weeks. So that's what I'll get. Four pound with a club card. They've already got a lot of the kids Christmassy outfits on clearance. Now I ought to be thinking about what I'm going to wear to my Christmas gigs. What would actually be perfect in my mind is Uhura from Star Trek with a Santa hat on and a bit of tinsel. We've been requested to do Star Trekking and I have to be Uhura in it, see. But I don't have like a Star Trek outfit and I'm not going to invest in one for one night. But if I could find a lady Santa dress, I'll just wear that, you know. Maybe just leave the Star Trek bit out. I don't even know what I'm doing in the toiletries aisle. I kind of went into the clothes bit looking for Santa dresses in the hope there'd be some reduced ones, which I don't think there were. And then like everywhere I went was completely congested. It was like rush hour traffic. So I've sneaked out this way. Oh yeah, it's my favorite bit. You know, I'm a sucker for reduced to clear. Tempted to have them. £1.36 for all that lot. I might be quite nice with Izzy at home, you know. I'll cook that tonight with some rice or something. And the rest of the tofu that needs using up. Oh, there's me, hello. <laughs> Sneaking in with the camera. I bought some persimmons the other day. Well, weeks ago, actually. I'm still waiting for it to ripen. It's like a rock and it's gone like a dark orange now. Oh, samphire. Oh, I love. Oh, no, 124. It's going back. I do love it, but not at 124. How much is the baby corn? 65p. Mm, I do like it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, am, I, am I being over the top? Possibly. I'm getting it anyway. Imogen, walk away from the veg aisle. You have veg. You do not need any more. Look at that. 19 pence for all these parsnips. It's amazing value, isn't it? I'm going to grab a few bananas. I haven't had any for ages, you know. I kind of went off them for a while. I can't find any tuna in this section, but I think there's a, like a fish counter, which I've never ever been up to, but I might today. The salmon, £5.72. I'll freeze the others. Sorry. <laughs> it is very crowded in here for vlogging today. I just keep getting in everybody's way. I've, I think I'm completely on my own, and then I realise I'm surrounded by a crowd, and they're all trying to get in. Oh, I've come at the wrong time of day, clearly. Oh, look at all that beer. Uh, correction, they don't have a fish aisle. <laughs> I've been looking for it everywhere. I was like, oh, I'm sure it was here somewhere. I just picked up some squirty cream for 145 and I want a little type of double cream. It's for a tagliatelle dish that I want to do on Boxing Day with the salmon. Because, you know, I just bought salmon. So that £1.15, 300 millilitres. Let's get it. On Ken yogurt for me, for my breakfasts, as per usual, not Christmassy. Right, now this is where I just don't even know what I'm buying. I want to get my daughter some cold meats to have on for her supper on Christmas night, you know, with crackers and cheese and things. Turkey, £3, is that good value? I've no idea. 24th of December, 
No. Oh, it's probably going to be okay, isn't it? I can't go shopping after today. The ham is 30th of December. I wanted to get her a mixture. Right, I'll get a ham. It's a bit dear, isn't it? But, you know, Christmas and all that. Right, I got a chicken. I think it was 179 um, and that was a bit cheaper. It was on offer. I think it was, let me see, 2.25 with a club card. It's not going well. The chicken was 23rd of December as well. What's this? Turkey breast, 24th of December. Well, I don't want to, oh, 24th. I can see me having to go to another shop. What's this? 23rd, 23rd. Ugh. For our breakfast on Christmas morning, we're gonna have these, two pound 30. You put them in the oven and you get freshly baked cinnamon swirls. I'm gonna pick her up some pork pies, but they're not necessarily for Christmas. They're just for whenever. 115 for the tagliatelle, the fresh stuff for our salmon and cream tagliatelle meal on Boxing Day. Mature cheddar, 269. We're completely out of block cheddar. I'm in the frozen section. It's just suddenly gone a bit quieter. And you know, somebody reminded me in the comments how much cheaper the frozen ready meals are than the normal ones. So I'm getting them, 75 pence. Just put in the freezer. Oh yeah, let's have them. Right, I stopped filming for a while because it was getting too crazy and I was holding people up. I got myself some beer for the festive period. Terribly overpriced corn slices. They were two pounds something, but something for me to have when Izzy's having her meat slices, some cocktail corn sausages. We'll share those between us. I got some reduced to clear, 82 pence for that cheese. I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. The camembert, in case Izzy's fussy about that one. And these were reduced and they looked so lush. One pound 30, down from 2.30, so I got two. So those are our cheeses. I think another cold chilled dessert would be nice though. And I spotted something, which was this, and doesn't that look nice? Black forest gatto. I'm just gonna do a quick ingredients check. Yeah, it should be all right. I hope I'm gonna have enough room in my freezer with those, but some of them could stay out and be eaten, you know. Push comes to shove, I'll do that. I need bleach, actually. 60p for Tesco's own bleach. My upstairs bathroom well i've only got one bathroom and it's upstairs but i've got another bleach under the sink downstairs i like to have one upstairs and one downstairs i'm just going to grab some ground coffee then i'm going to go home have a cup of tea and possibly go out to Lidl because there's some things i just couldn't get here and more to the point if i'm not careful i'm not going to fit that in my trolley so i really have to stop <sighs> Blimey, I feel almost drained now after all that. <laughs> I caused a bit of chaos at the tills because the packaging was a little bit ripped for this. So I had to ask them to replace it and they were ever so nice about it and they sent somebody to get it. So it's all fine. I've just spotted the mince pies. So when I've unpacked that lot, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a mince pie and do some editing before heading back out to Lidl's. There we are, Christmas fridge is looking amazing. I think I need to drink some kefir, you know. <laughs> I bought a load the other day and I haven't um, had a lot of it. It's now 10 past seven in the evening. I'm gonna go and brave Lidl's for round three of my big shopping day. Guess what? Now I'm in Lidl's and it's lovely and empty in here compared to Tesco's earlier. I was texting Izzy earlier and saying do you like pickles? I mean we call them gherkins in this country but you know what um, teens are like quite often they know the American word before they know the British word. She said she's never tried it but she'd be happy to try it so I'm gonna get some. Look at these empty aisles and guess what they don't sell tuna not fresh tuna. I'm gonna look in the frozen department I'm just gonna have to think of something else. Oh what a pain. I want pop actually cans of we have run out completely. Hmm Look how much cheaper that tonic water is, 139. I paid four quid for, um, well, a bigger thingy. Oh, that one's 219 for eight. Perhaps I should have got that. Oh, well, I've done it now. Gone for Pepsi Max, wanted something not caffeinated really, but there wasn't really anything apart from the stuff that contains a lot of sugar. So, oh well. Oh, well, there was diet lemonade, but neither of us like it. Ooh. I'm trying to get a word in edgeways over the tannoy. Look, they've got a crepe maker. That looks amazing. Number four, please. The Christmas Orchard Toys games are down to 1.99. We used to use these all the time when my daughter was little. I recommend the brand. Oh, we prefer the Cherry Pepsi Max. Oh, and they've got Diet Coke. Oh, what prices are these then? <gasps> They're cheaper than what I just got. Right, I'm gonna swap them. This one's coming with me. I think these are nicer. I'll put the others back. Hey, look, Littles have got a Marmite alternative, like, you know, an own brand version. 179, much cheaper. I've never really liked the different versions of them. I've tried them, but I do know lots of people that actually prefer them, so it might be worth giving that a go. Oh, look at that, 27th of December. Littles is doing much better than Tesco's on the cold meat front. I wonder which one I should get. I just don't know what's what I should get for Izzy, I don't know. It looks like more in there. That's dearer, let's get that one. 
she'll have more. I think more is good, isn't it? Yay! I'm losing hope for the tuna. I'm going to have to have a rapid rethink. I can see us having tagliatelle on Christmas Day. There's no tuna in there, is there? Maybe they just don't sell it. I don't want to have to go out shopping tomorrow because I need to practice stuff before my gig in the evening. I've saved that day for that. Uh, oh. Okay, I've cracked. I've got a chicken. I'll just have to have salmon two days running. <laughs> because I've got too much salmon anyways. I'm gonna have to Google how to cook chicken breasts because I don't know, I presume I wrap them in foil and put them in the oven for 20 minutes or something. I'm back home cooking our stir fry, been chatting to my daughter. I'll save that chili, she doesn't like chili. I forgot the fancy crackers, but I had cheddars in the cupboard, so I've put them in. Oh well, it's just not very much variety, but I'm sure we'll live. I'm gonna leave Izzy to get those two things. Just had an update from my dad. He's not feeling too bad now. He was feeling worse. He had a temperature, but that's come down now and he's feeling better than he was, so that's good. I'm feeling pretty good now that I've got all that food shopping out of the way. I need to wrap three presents, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I need to write a Christmas card and post it to some neighbors. And I'm gonna do that tomorrow and I need to do a lot of rehearsing tomorrow as well. And then go off to a gig in the evening. So that's my plan for tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it? Subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!